Mathematics folks and welcome back to Femboy Mathematics. I'm Tree and today we're going to be discussing about linear algebra. Now this is just going to be an extras episode. I'm actually filming this simultaneously with the previous episode which is the Pythagorean theorem episode and this extras episode is actually a request done by one of our viewers and um, I think this is the name of the person was Sad Girl, I forgot. But she requested that I do an episode or a discussion on linear algebra and basic vector vector operations. So before we begin this lesson, I hope you guys um, have at least watched 3 Blue 1 Brown's videos on linear algebra. I suggest you guys watch his videos first before watching mine so that you have a good concrete understanding of it and maybe a relatable moment at times like a eureka moment wherein I discuss something and then you say it on your side of the screen. So <clears throat> I suggest you guys watch the essence of linear algebra by 3 Blue 1 Brown before watching my videos because it's highly likely that what I'm going to say is going to be similar to what he said or what he discussed. So we begin with three viewpoints which are the physics student. The way physics students think of vectors um, because linear algebra mostly deals with vectors what they, think of, vectors what they think of vectors is basically an arrow in space that has direction and magnitude. So basically direction is where it's pointing at and magnitude, which is how long it is or how thorough that vector is. So we can think of that of that stretchiness or that longness as how intense the motion is or how, how frequent it is or how strong it is or how large the force is. Because vectors are mostly described as forces, so vector quantity, I suppose. And the second viewpoint is the computer student's viewpoint. So computer students think of vectors as an ordered list. So let's say you want to list your grocery items, for example, and you want to assign them to variables, let's say. For chicken, you want to assign it to variable A. For the vegetables, you want to assign it to variable B. So this is your ticket, I suppose. This is an ordered list. You would, you would list it this way, or that's how computer graphics students would think of it. And now for my part, or for our part, the mathematicians, we seek ways to generalize it. We seek ways to combine these two using an interconnected system that combines this way of listing vectors and, of course, this um, entire concept of vectors through a, a system of operations and different constructs and axioms. And this is basically what linear algebra is. Linear algebra is the way mathematicians, or it's a branch of mathematics in which we draw generalizations between the physics student's point of view of a vector and the computer graphics student's point of view of a vector. And how mathematicians think of vector is um, not only on its own or as a quantity itself, but rather we can think of it as a scalar. Quantities. I just just searched that online because I don't have much time right now. But um, long story short, um, a scalar quantity is much like a vector quantity, but you multiply it. It's more of a coefficient in our part. So um, so we have three or two, mostly two, because we mostly focus on only two basis vectors of a system default. so basically these are defaults default think of it as a default skin in fortnite i'm sorry i had to make that reference it's the best reference i could think of in my head or a default skin in csgo or default gun skin in csgo um oh, crap i'm running out of ink so we have our two um, x and y plane over here and basically this is our basis vectors they are default and they have a unit of only one and so these and these um, basis vectors are basically i hat j hat and k hat now k hat is only used in three dimensional systems since you were given a three dimensional one that's when we use 
Okay, hat, I suppose. But for for the sake of simplicity, we're only gonna be focusing on I hat and J hat. Now, for the mathematician's point of view when it comes to vectors, we can think of vectors as a scalar to I hat. Since I hat only has a, a unit of one, it won't be too hard to multiply them. So we can think of we have I hat here, and we can think of the vector a b as something we multiply to i hat now the way the interesting thing about how we combine these two is that we use the way computer students to list vectors as our way of listing it instead of listing it in the usual x y way of listing usual euclidean vectors um, we list it in the way computer students list it in linear algebra so basically, we just multiply, so we just multiply these two values to i hat or j hat. Mostly, it's listed. The dimensions are listed vertically from top to down. So we have i hat or the value that's scaled to i hat first. So a, which is scaled to i hat first, and we have our second value b, which is scaled to j hat, which is our second, our second um, dimension. Now there are basic operations we could perform with um, with vectors to um, to of course like you know add them you know out of curiosity and stuff like that. Basically, there are operations that we can perform on vectors, and that's pretty much our way of generalizing it is via math. So let's say we're given vector a b and a second vector. C D. Now I'm naming these different representational different representational variables, variables because, because the these aren't the same numbers. So we can so we, can, we have like four ways to do stuff, do stuff with them. There are four basic operations we could do, which is basic arithmetic, which is addition. I somehow can write addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. That's the operations we can perform on vectors. Now for this case, if we're going to add these two vectors, we're basically just going to be adding this row over here with this row and this row with this row. So A plus C on the top on the first row and B plus D. The same applies with three dimensional vectors, such as A, B, C plus C, D, E. That would just be the same thing, A plus C. B plus D and C plus E. Now this is nothing more than another vector that's the result of your operation here. Now for for subtraction, for subtraction, it's pretty much the same. You do pretty much the same thing except you subtract them. So in this case, it would be vector A B minus vector C D equals vector. A minus C and B minus D. And same thing with multiplication, you just multiply them and all that. And so that's pretty much it for vector basics. I suppose I will be talking about matrices and how they're a form of composition when it comes to different operations of vectors. So I guess that would just be the vector basics I will be talking about right now. Um, there's a chance I might have some downtime because of stuff going on in real life because I'm still a studying student. So I suppose I'll see you guys on the next episode. And um, if in case I don't make it in the through the holidays, I wish you guys a happy, happy um, holidays. You know, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.